In October 331 BC, the Persian great king Darius suffered a devastating defeat against Alexander in the Battle of Gagamela, after which his army disbanded and he himself fled to the Persian core provinces in what is now Iran. After a few days rest in Babylon, the victorious Alexander took up the pursuit in order to confront Darius as quickly as possible in a final battle. After he had taken the royal city of Susa without a fight at the end of autumn 331 BC, he chose Persepolis as his next target, the oldest capital of the Persians, located in the central province of Persis. In the spring of 330 BC, Alexander resumed the pursuit of the fugitive Darius and entered the Median capital of Egbatna. The Persian king intended to face him again at the Caspian gates near Ragiai, but this time he found no support from his followers, who now voluntarily went over to Alexander. As he continued to flee, he was soon murdered by Bessos. The Battle of the Hydasps took place in May 326 BC between the troops of Alexander the Great and those of the Indian King Poros on the Hydasps River, near the city of Nicaea on the Hydasps. It was Alexander's last and most costly battle. The battle was untypical for Alexander. Poros' army used elephants, against which Alexander had already gained experience at the Battle of Gagamela. These elephants were a psychological weapon of war for Poros that could hardly be overestimated. Poros also knew how to command the elephants in groups, which was an additional advantage for the Indian king, in addition to the area being unfamiliar to the Greek troops. Poros secured the riverside with the elephants, which made it impossible for the Greek cavalry to cross the river. According to the historian Arian, the horses were afraid of the elephants. Alexander divided his army into two groups. The first, small group was commanded by Koinos. Koinos feigned numerical superiority by lighting so many campfires before the battle that Poros had to assume that Alexander's entire army was still across the river. Alexander's group, however, crossed the river Hydasps, after which the battle is named under the most difficult conditions. Poros only guarded the side of the river where he was waiting for Alexander's troops, not knowing that Alexander had already crossed the river about 27 kilometers above Harenpur. Poros had the river on one side, which he could not cross with all his elephants, and Alexander's group on his side. Alexander knew that elephants could also be dangerous for the Indian troops in battle. Part of Alexander's cavalry hid behind the infantry. The rest of the cavalry split into two parts. One was sent with the infantry, the other part swung far to the right of the main army. This meant that two cavalry units were not visible to Poros. The infantry was ordered not to attack, but to wait at a safe distance. The flanks of the infantry were reinforced by units with projectile weapons. Poros assumed that Alexander would try to encircle him with the part of the cavalry that was visible to Poros, which accompanied the infantry, and therefore reinforced his left wing to prevent a breakthrough there. Since Poros saw that the strength of Alexander's cavalry wing was very small, he sent his cavalry there. He thought he could quickly fight the cavalry and bring his cavalry back to protect his main troops with the elephants. All parts of the Indian cavalry were now on the left wing. Alexander's cavalry, which had previously swung far to the right, as well as the cavalry that was hiding behind the infantry, now attacked the left wing from three sides with the remaining cavalry, thereby destroying Poro's cavalry. The infantry then attacked. Alexander's troops were ordered to attack the elephants in particular. The main targets were the elephant drivers, who were hit with targeted spear throws. The plan worked. The elephants panicked without a leader and were driven back into the Indian infantry formation. This turn of events caused the Indian infantry positions to disintegrate and the battle was won for Alexander. Alexander, who admired Poro's courage, not only left him his territory but also the claim to several other cities. In return, Poros had to recognize Alexander's supremacy. Alexander's favorite horse Bucephalus supposedly died in the nearby Hydasps River during the battle. 
Alexander then named a city Alexandria Bucephalus after Bucephalus. Another city called Nicaea on the Hydasps was founded in memory of the victory on the spot where the battle had taken place. Alexander also had coins minted that portrayed him as the victor. Alexander's last words when asked who he would leave his empire to were said to have been, to the best, 